All right, you've got your hot chocolate with you, or your ice Milo, whatever, your smoothie, your shake, whatever it is. Right, we're going to talk about elevation and depression. Elevation means to feel elevated. I want you to feel elevated. What's the meaning of elevated? Feeling high without a pill. All right. Okay, so that's elevation. And what's depression? Depression means feeling down, depressed. You want to feel like crying if you feel your meds. All right, but I don't want you to feel depressed. Okay, but we want to look at angle of elevation, angle of depression. What is it all about? Now, all of you, I just like you to follow me if you can see me. You know what? All right. I see a cockroach right up there. I mean, do you have cockroaches in your country? If you do, or my country has cockroaches, it scares me. Oh my God. Anybody loves it? I shudder. I'll run away when I see a cockroach. I run out of my house. How about you? It's between you and me. And don't you dare frighten me if the cockroach will see me personally, face to face. All right, I see a cockroach right at the corner. All right, you look at that wall. Right, you gotta show that wall. You see that wall there, right up there. I see a cockroach right up there. All right, and I'm standing here. This is the eye level, and from there I look up to see. The angle that I make is called the elevation. Elevation. If I move away from the cockroach, 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 oh. You look at my angle, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. The further I move away, that angle gets lesser. But if I'm going to go near, all right, this is the angle of elevation. When I get nearer to cockroach, and I said, I've got my bike on, I'm going to spray that cockroach. My eyes is fixed on that cockroach. That's the angle of elevation. I go nearer, 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 nearer. Do you see my head tilting? Nearer. The angle of elevation is increasing, increasing, increasing. And if I said, oops, I'm gonna spray. And you look right here, I sprayed. And my angle of elevation is 90 degrees. And we're run away, cockroach. Cockroach drops dead. All right? So you can see that the angle of elevation of this cockroach, as I got nearer and nearer, my angle grew bigger right up to 90 degrees. From this angle, I throw my head up and then it goes. Elevation is just that. All right? Let me put it into a presentation. This cockroach is here. This is where I stand. And if I move, this is the angle of elevation. That's my eye level. I move away. Cockroach! I move away. Do you see the angle of elevation getting lesser? I move away. Cockroach! You see it's smaller and smaller. But if I move nearer with the bike go and do 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 do, I move. My angle increases, my angle increases, my angle increases until I come here 90 degrees, no more. That's the angle of elevation. I hope I've made it a little bit easier for you. What about depression? You would be shocked. Actually, the depression, that if the cockroach could look at me, <laughs> that is the angle of depression. If I had a smart cookie of a cockroach right up there looking at me and thinking that I'm a lovely piece of meat, mm, wanting to have me, a taste of me, or fly at me. <sighs> All right? So, the angle of depression will be this. This is the angle of depression. If you look at this angle, depression, and these two angles are equal. All right? I draw again. If this is where, some of you are not scared of cockroaches. What are you scared of? Lizards? All right. <laughs> if you see a lizard right up here, and you are here, 
This is your angle of elevation and that's the angle from the lizard looking at you that's the lizard's depression all right and these two are because your wall your ceiling they are both parallel do you see that how many of you your wall is like slanted huh cannot be the floor is straight isn't it is it slanted no nope. all right so these two lines are parallel and these two angles are equal and that's called alternate angles properties of a parallel line right when you get away from it you move away from this lizard you look at this is your angle of elevation i call it e2 and you look at the depression getting smaller d2 these two get you see it these two are equal the depression is equal to the elevation but if i were to get closer i'm a brave one for lizard all right and if i get right there i say ah i can climb up the ladder if i want to and i put this ladder right here if i'm here this angle of elevation e3 is equal to this angle of depression d3 got it so that's about elevation and depression Now do not get so hung up on these two terms. Now depression and elevation are very important in your lives. All right? For example, let me share with you. I know you get raging hormones. You are on the cliff. All right? You're standing right up there. But because the height of the cliff is so high that your height, you are tiny. You're a minuscule, tiny, small. In our Singapore slang, we say "kuchi kuchi," small. All right. So with this height of the cliff, your eye right level is here, and you see someone really charming. All right. You saw him or her. Ah, yeah, he's there or she's there. And where is your angle of elevation? Is this an elevation or depression? Your eyes is looking down. There is Mr. Charmer, your charming person looking up. Hi! He calls you. Oh, you be excited, I'm sure. All right, or she calls you. <laughs> Whichever way. So this depression and this is elevation. They become equal. If he looks up at you, and he look you look down, your angle and his angle are the same. Or if you're one, if you're a guy, you're looking at her. Her angle of elevation is equal to your angle of depression. You can it's that same angle. All right? Now depression and elevation. He might feel elevated, you might feel depressed for whatever reasons you can't reach out to that person. Depression, depressed, feeling down, going down, just take note. Elevation, feeling elevated, looking up. When you get nearer and nearer and nearer, 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 remember your angle of elevation. The biggest angle you can get is 90 degrees. You get further and further and further away. What happens? Your elevation gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And imagine if this is the cliff and it's so far away, you will just see your angle is getting smaller. All right. When you get nearer, it gets bigger. When it gets nearer, it gets bigger. Until 90 degrees, you don't get to see. Have you got that? And now we're going to do some very interesting sums. Feel charged. Right, you've got elevation, depression, and I'm going to give you another example. We can move away from the lizard and the cockroach. We move to kite. You know kite flying? Yeah. All right. We've got a kite up there, and you and I are looking at the kite. Let's don't feel insulted if I said your height is 1.65 meters. Are you tall? Shorter? Taller? Well, I'm good. Now that's your height, 1.65, and I am also 1.65. Our eye level is the same. All right. I'm just going to put our eye level. This is our eye level straight. All right. I'm not going to make it as insignificant. I'm just going to put it that way. 
and the distance between you and me is 60 meters apart and we instead of going to school went to beach and there we saw a kite flying and the kite of the height is 7 h meters and your angle my dear is 70 degrees my angle is 50 degrees that means i'm further away i'm looking right okay got it now we want to find out how far off if this is h we want to find out how far off are you horizontally away from the kite so i would say that this distance from here to here is x and my distance from the vertical the, from going down look at that my if you are x what is my distance if you're 60 meters away yes 60 minus x excellent so now we've got the angle of elevation we want to find out how high is the kite above us from our eye level all right and then if i ask you from the ground level i think you have no problem right you look at this height level and you add to the height of your your height and that will be the height above ground level all right let's start doing what do we do first you know elevation depression you like your kite you're fixing your kite you're looking at a kite at 70 degrees your angle of elevation I'm looking at it 50 degrees. Now, if you look at this vertical distance where drop down, what is that angle? 50 degrees or 90 degrees, sorry, what is it? Ah, I hear you, 90 degrees, excellent. Now, I'm going to take you, that's you, that's your kite, the kite that you're watching. Your angle here is 70 degrees. This is your eye level, all right? This is H. This is x. And what do you get? You get tangent 70 degrees is equal to h over x. Excellent. And what is h going to be? Bring the x up. x tangent 70 degrees. Great. As for me, I'm here and the height is here. My angle is 50 degrees. And I and the kite. The height is the kite is still h meters because it's the same kite that you and I are looking at. And if the total distance from here, the distance between you and me is 60 meters. And if you are x meters away from this, I am 60 minus x. Right? Got that? Great. And the vertical distance is here. We want to find out what is H. Now it's the same H, the height, all right? Because we're looking at the same kite. And now from this sum, what do you get? Tangent, 50 degrees, yeah. Tuakaso is a right angle triangle. It's equals to H over 60 minus X. Now what is H going to be? Bring this whole thing over 60 minus x times tangent 50 degrees right excellent now this h here and this h here are both the same height aren't they both equal yes so then what do we do we said hey form an equation that these two are equal therefore your x tangent therefore your x tangent 70 degrees is equal to 60 minus x tangent 50 all we need to do is to open up we say hey you 60 tangent 50 minus 50 tangent 50 and put your x in don't put it here rather than here because this x is a number is not an angle when you put it here it's like fifth it's it becomes tangentized tangentized if there's such a verb all right we put the x here and we said hey all you x come together 
you are tangent, you are x tangent 70, you are x tangent 50. Come on, let's make that together. When you bring that over, it becomes a plus. And that's equal to 60 tangent 50. Now, x is common. Extract it out. When you extract that out, you get tangent 70 plus tangent 50 is equal to 60 tangent 50. I like to let you know I've seen errors when someone says, What's tangent 70 plus tangent 60? And they say, I know. The answer is tangent 120. I said, What? You put it into your calculator. Tangent 70 plus tangent 50 is a tangent 120. And I think back and I said, how the hell did you get this answer? And I realized they added these two answers. And I'm afraid that's a serious error. All right? You cannot add them because what happens when you put tangent to it? it there is a chemical reaction that takes place. Psh, and it changes to something else. And similarly here, it's unlike two apple plus three apples, you get five apples. But for tangent, you cannot add it. Get it right. Now you can see it for yourself when you press tangent. Everyone, please help me. Tangent 50 plus tang tangent. Tangent 70. Alright, and what do you get? You get a 3.939. You get here, you get 3.9392, let me write to four decimal places. But if I press tangent 120, you know what I get? I get minus 1.73. Totally different. So please uh, make sure you're aware of it. So this is the answer here. And here, if you press 60 tangent, 50, alright, if you get it right, press it and get it. You got it with me? You get a 71.505. You get that, 71.505. Now, all you need to do is to take this answer divided, 71.505, divided by 3.93. 9, 2. Please press on me to divide, get the answer 3.9392. What do you get? You get about 18.15. 18.15 is about 18.2. So now, you are staying 152. I just want to round up there. All right, you got 18.2 meters. Who is X? A, that's X. You are staying 18.2 meters away from this top. If you look down here. And I am looking 60 minus 18.2. Look at 60 minus 18.2. You look at it, you get 0.8. This becomes 10. When you borrow, you get 9. To go 8 is 1. 5 to go 1 is a 4. And I'm far, further away. I'm 41.8 meters. And you are 18.2. I told you earlier on about logic in maths. Your angle of elevation is 70 degrees. You're nearer to a kite. All right? I'm away. I'm 41.8 meters away, my horizontal distance. And that's why my angle of elevation is smaller. Do you see the logic there? Excellent. But the height is still going to take on the same height. Let's fit it in. What is H here? Your X is 18.2 tangent 70 degrees. That's going to be your H. Can you please help me? Press for me 18.2 times tangent 70 degrees. Alright, what do you get? 
you get about 49.87 all right the h is 49.87 i said 49.9 meters ah you see that's the height of the kite from you from your eye level and how about for me you look at this h what is h 60 minus x that's a 41 point 8 times tangent 50 degrees is it the same height just put this on 41.8 times tangent 50 degrees do you get that my dear ah i get 49.82 so my h is 49.82 all right but as i said because of rounding errors but it's still the same height if I use this measurement, I get that. The height, if I use this measurement, I get that. Not very far off. It's the same height, actually. So you've got to understand what elevation and depression is about. The height that a kite is away from you, that height, that vertical distance, is 49.9, about 50 meters. Similarly, it's about 50 meters away from me the vertical height but if it's from ground level what do you do from ground the height above ground all right above ground ground level will be you take 49.9 plus your height 1.65 and that's your answer all right you've got a five 9 plus 6 is a 15, carry 1, 10 plus 1 is 11, you get a 51.55 meters. Alright, and that'd be the same thing for me if I were to add. Now does it make a lot of logic and reasoning to you what elevation depression is about? Looking at a kite from a distance, looking at a kite from near, and although the height level is still the same, but the distance that you're away will give the angle of elevation a little, the angle of elevation changes. And that's very concrete example to show the reality of it. Got it? Like it? Another one more sum before we move on to more other varieties.